Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be unboxing the Tracker RLX Flat 6 bed. Flat means it's flat, 6 means it's got 6 legs, bed means it's a bed. They don't call them bed chairs anymore, they call them beds. Because they are essentially beds. A few years back, I mean you can still buy them, you can still buy a fishing bed chair, which is where the back sits up a bit and you have these heavy knobs on the side to reduce weight. It's all about keeping weight down and to reduce weight now they've removed the knob systems on the side so the tracker rlx flat six bed is essentially a flat bed with six legs without further ado let's grab the box unbox it undo it grab the bed out of it and i've also got my sonic sk tech five season sleeping bag i believe it's an sk tech bag but it's a five season sonic sleeping bag big thick sleeping bag apparently you can put that bag on the bed and the whole bed should fold up with that inside it, including a pillow. I haven't got a pillow with me today, but I've got the sleeping bag over there with me. I'm gonna put that on, fold the whole up, and let's see if it works. Let's go and grab the box. So there it is, the Tracker RLX Flat 6 bed. First things first, let me give you a word of warning. When I opened this up early before I came out to film myself and do this unboxing, I cut it open with a knife. Be very, very careful. On top, that bed is very, very close to the top of the box. And there's a piece of protective card there, which as thin as you like, absolutely useless. Throw that away. If you'll see, I'm not sure if you can see it, my knife just scribed, if you can see it there, my knife just caught the plastic. I was millimeters away from putting a knife through the bed. So take my advice, when you unbox this, be very, very careful. Use a pair of scissors or pull the tape off. Use a parcel cutter type object that you can cut parcel boxes open with. Or use a knife, but use the knife upside down. Do not put a blade straight across the top like I did. We could end up putting a knife straight through your bed. That's very, very close. How lucky was I? Let's grab this bed out and have a little look. Now, what's it sound the box first of all? Completely level profile, just read out the box first of all before we go any further. Completely level profile for a perfect night's sleep. Incredibly light. Weight reduced further by removal of hand wheels. So you haven't got the hand wheels as I said earlier on the side, so you can't jack it up. Super quick to use, simply unclip and unfold. Will fold comfortably with a winter sleeping bag in place, which is a great idea. Free standing and closed position, ergonomically designed mattress for optimum comfort. Six leg design with individually adjustable legs for maximum stability. Material aluminium stroke steel frame. Weight approximately 7.5 kilograms. I won't bother reading the dimensions out. Because obviously there's two lots of dimensions when it's open and closed. That's still, that's still 7.5k. It's still quite heavy to be honest with you. But that's a lot. It's a lot lighter than my old steel bit. Let's get this unwrapped and have a look. Feet are there. That's it. Track of quality. Plenty of packing. Nice quick release um, I know a lot of them have that, but it works lovely, that does. Before you unwrap it, or unfold it, or try to unfold it, make sure you unclip that. Clip which holds all together. And it should just, instruction leaflet. Basically level his feet out. One of the primary reasons for buying this particular bed is I want to leave, it's got the double folding mechanism, I want to leave the Sonic SK Tech five season sleeping bag on it. Right. Oh. Right, so once you've done the um, legs, it does feel quite solid. And that seems to be staying down now. Now I've used it a couple of times. Very nice, I like it. Let's put a sleeping bag on now, see what we've got, see if that works. 
the SK Tech five season sleeping bag, any five season sleeping bag, they're big and bulky. It comes in a lovely pack sack thing that you stuff it, a stuff sack that you stuff it into. But it is a bit of a pain to pack away and unpack, etc. Well, unpacking, to be fair, is not that long, but unpacking away is quite a while. It takes quite a bit of time. I want to be able to put it on this and leave it on, fold this bed up. That's the primary reason of buying it. So, without further ado, let's go and get the sleeping bag over there. I'll put it on, strap it up properly, fold it up, see what we've got. And I'm going to leave that on there. We'll grab the bag now. I've already taken it out of the So here's a Sonic SK Tech 5 season sleeping bag, big and bulky. As the underneath of it has a strap, so you can strap it underneath. So I'll spin it over. I want to leave this on. I'll put the pocket on the top, like so. I'll put the foot piece on over underneath. And once it's on, it's staying on. Oi! Adjusted the buckle. Now the idea of this bed, it's got like a double hinge mechanism. That's all in the nice and neat. Let's start by packing it away. Foot in first. Like so. Tap that and tighten that. Let's stay in there like so. Let's tighten this foot end of the sleeping bag up. Foot in first. Head end. That comes up over the top. Like so. Apparently, you kneel on it and you adjust this strap. I've already adjusted it actually. There you go. And it's folded. You put your feet in there, your foot in there. And it's like, like so. You lift this up here. Make sure your feet are all tucked in. You can actually put that on your on your barrel like so and pack, put stuff in between that. But, uh, that is it, firmly packed away. A bit big and bulky, but obviously you've got your sleeping at five season sleeping bag on there and it's a bed at the same time. I'm very pleased with it. Let's get that in the way. When I get more used to it, it'll be a bit easier. Let's go and boot a car like that ready for um, fishing at the weekend. If you like that video, Please consider subscribing, please like, subscribe, etc. to support the channel. Check out the other videos I've got on my channel. They're not all about fishing, but if you're into fishing, I'm going to do a few uh, fishing videos, kayaking, and um, I'm going to do a uh, homemade bait pole uh, video very soon, which I'm working on at the moment. Also, I've got my pub shed down the garden, so if you're interested in having a beer with me, meet up for a live session one, one night, we can uh, do that as well in a couple of months. Next video will be the probably be the uh, some friends of mine, we've hired a lake fishing egg at the weekend, so we're going to do a little social there for a couple of nights. So, the next video will be uh, setting up the San Pes Broly again with the social cap. If you watch my other videos, you'll see the Broly and the social cap. And we're actually got the whole lot set up on there. I've got the ground sheet down the front for the Tempest Broly. I'm going to attach that, use this new bed with the um, Sonic 5 Season sleeping bag. All nice and cozy. Put the rods out, see if we can catch some fish at last. Uh, I don't think I'll have the baiting pole made in time, but uh, I'll, I'll use that at another venue later on. The baiting pole I'll be using at a venue where you can't allow bait boats. So. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.